Okay, so this question is a translate word problem question. I can see that because this question is about five lines long. Um, it's obvious that it's a word problem. So again, anytime I approach word problems, I like to you know, read it actively, translate anything that I read, and definitely pay attention to any quantitative information that's provided in the question. So this question says the distance traveled by Earth in one orbit around the sun is about 580 million miles. So that's quantitative. I'm going to write it down. So 580, I'm sorry, 80 million miles uh, equals one orbit. So that's my translation for sentence one. Um, Earth makes one complete orbit around the sun in one year. So this equals one year of the following, which is closest to the average speed of Earth in miles per hour. So speed is what I'm looking for. And the unit that I want for speed is miles per hour. Well, if you pay attention, if you see what we've been given, we've been given miles, right? So I can just continue translating. If I want miles over hours, that means that my numerator will be 580 million miles. And my denominator, well, I don't have hours, but the time unit that I do have is years. So I can say, well, that's 580 million miles per year. Now, I'm going to just give myself some more space over here. So again, 580 million. And again, you have a calculator. I'm not going to use one right now, but you could probably get this a lot faster than I'm going to get it right now. So then again, my unit on top is good. I just need to convert that bottom unit into hours. So I'm going to say, well, in one year, there are, I don't know, let's say 365 days. Okay. And in one day, there are 24 hours. Now doing that, that means that my year unit will cancel out diagonally there. My days, and again, it doesn't matter, plural, singular, day, unit will cross out there. So at the end of this, when I do all this math in my calculator, I'm going to end up with miles on top per hour on bottom, which is exactly what I was asked to find. So all of this leads to, you know, me using my calculator, having this 580 million miles divided by 365 times 24, right in a calculator, and then hours on bottom. So the denominator, and again, you have a calculator, so you go a lot faster than me. My numerator is still 580 million. 365 times 24 is 8,760. And then now I am going to use a calculator. So when I divide 580 million, three, one, two, three, Divide it by 8,760, 8,760. What I get is 66,210 and some other stuff. And again, my unit is miles per hour. So then it does say which one is closest, so not exact. So therefore, my final answer should be 66,000, right? 66,000 miles per hour is closest to what I get by converting um, 24 hours into, I'm sorry, in fact, one year into hours, knowing that I start off with this 580 million miles.